You are listening to The Voice of the Arts, WQED-FM. I'm Jim Cunningham, and it is a joy to have Dusty Elias Kirk, the chief of the RAD board with us, and Shannon Musgrave in charge of communications there. She's the communications director. Shannon and Dusty, what a treat to see you. How weird, pandemic-style RAD days. Here we go, the Regional Asset District celebration. Of course, Regional assets interest means what? We give 1% of our sales tax revenue to support our parks, our libraries, our arts treasures in Western Pennsylvania, the symphony, the opera, the Phipps Conservatory, the aviary, you name it. Wonderful things happen. And then we celebrate once a year with radical days. Am I summarizing this correctly? Yes, you are. Absolutely. And it's really an Allegheny County asset. So. Rad, the RAD is for Allegheny County and RAD is everywhere. And I think you'll see that when we talk a little bit more about what's happening this fall. Now, what would you like folks to know about the radical days during our time when it's more difficult for us to get together? We'll be wearing masks, of course, but some things we'll be able to enjoy virtually, right? Absolutely. That's right. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dusty. A lot of our assets, um, have really creatively pivoted to online programming. And so we're following their lead. And for Radical Days, we have a really incredible mix of both virtual uh, programming that people can do right from their very own computers and a sprinkling of in-person events as well that, as you said, Jim, will be done very safely with masks and social distance and all the COVID bells and whistles. Great. So Dusty, uh, do you have a few personal favorites that you'd like to share uh, that you think folks uh, who are joining us now might be interested in checking out during the month of October? Well, absolutely. So the virtual events, we have, you know, the, let me get my list so I make sure I'm not missing them. The virtual events are the Pittsburgh Ballet uh, virtual dance. And I think it's very cool because it's going to be a Dra Dra Dracula themed happy hour for adults. City of Asylum has a virtual jazz poetry festival. And I I'm a big jazz poetry person, so I think that's great. And the Quantum Theater is doing a play called The Wild. So I think that will be fun too. And then of course the Frick is doing Inside Out Week. So you can do tours of their cars, their carriages, the mansion, the museum, and the Western Pennsylvania Conservancy. I'm a big gardener and they're talking about how to do home gardening projects. So I think it's all good. That is great. Shannon, you mentioned that the RAD days are going to be a little bit longer running this year than in the past. That's right. Typically, they've been sort of locked into a about three week period. Um, but this year, since so much of it is virtual and our assets are really flexible on their timelines, we are running now through November. So we're doing a radical season, if you will. Um, so people can check out radworkshere.org. We have a calendar of events and there's something to do almost every single day. Now, in the past, we've had the symphony doing a concert and the opera doing events uh, with singers over at their headquarters in the Strip District. Will the symphony and the opera be participating this year? The opera did their event. They always do their Rising Stars concert. Um, this year they did it virtually. So we still got to see their up and coming opera stars um, just through our computer screen rather than in person. And we do have a few of our music groups um, doing little quartets and things like that. Uh, for instance, at the Pittsburgh Botanic Garden on October 15th, you can check out River City Brass. They're gonna have a little trio there playing in the garden. So people are getting creative and staying safe at the same time. Lots of musical right. events. Anything else you'd like to mention there, Dusty? The City Theater is uh, also doing a drive-in play. So I think that's very cool. It's called, Frank. it's Manu Manuel Cinema's Frankenstein. So all good for the October Halloween season. Right, Shannon, do you have the list there? Let's take a close look at it. Uh, what's happening <laughs> for Radical Days that we haven't mentioned yet? Well, let's see. We've got, like I said, there's something almost every single day. So I'm going to scroll through and just list off a few exciting events that are coming up. We've got um, virtual and in-person ex exhibition at the August Wilson African American Cultural Center. It opened, um, I think, just last week, and it's running all through the span of Radical Days and maybe through the end of the year. Um, 
as with all in-person events, people are encouraged to visit the websites of the organization and make sure they're following the safety protocols that are in place. Um, or if you want to take a look online, the exhibits are available there as well. The county parks have got drive-in movies happening on the weekends. Um, Dusty mentioned Manchester Craftsman's Guild. They're doing virtual behind the scenes tours of their space. And also they have a great video with their art students that you can check out. The Pittsburgh Zoo is doing an animal tracks program online. Um, a lot of our assets have come up with really creative educational programming online. And that's really important right now with so many students um, learning virtually and so many parents having to be at home teachers right now. So um, yeah, I really encourage a lot of people of all ages, check out radworkshere.org, see our calendar and find something every single day to do for free. Dusty, anything else on your list of suggestions, things you think everybody ought to check into? Well, I, I think Shannon's done a great job explaining it, but I have to say WQED is helping also, right? Absolutely. They, so they are having <laughs> programming online for uh, students and teachers, and they also promote our RAD assets, so I can't thank you enough. That's well, right. WQED has been sort of the the mother of all online programming, even before the COVID-19 pandemic. So I think a lot of assets are looking to you for inspiration and <laughs> we thank you for that. Well, bless you. And I always remind people that QED, when it started in 1954, uh, put the Pittsburgh Symphony on the air within days and music and the arts have always been an important part of both TV and radio. Radio calls itself the voice of the arts. So we try to get the word out about all of the constituent organization. So each day during Rad Days, we'll be playing the recordings that we've made from the great groups that the Regional Asset District hopes to support. And we'll be uh, drawing a fine point to that, reminding everybody that uh, these organizations are funded by the Regional Asset District and that we were able to record them in part because of, of your support. So I think you did a terrific job of explaining uh, what Rad Days are all about, but uh, I'll ask you...